Hi, my name is Vladimir Karpov. I'm a laser scientist and a head of uh, laser fiber development group here at MPB Communications in Montreal. Um, in the past 20 years, we have developed various fiber lasers for a wide range of applications, ranging from telecom, where we use a uh, Raman fiber laser to pump distributed fiber optic links thus increasing the reach in such systems. Uh, we also developed a product line for biomedical industry where we provide high power visible lasers uh, at various wavelengths. And um, we also have contributed to development of pulse lasers, femtosecond and picosecond for industry. More recently, we have developed uh, Raman fiber amplifiers and uh, visible Raman fiber amplifiers capable to provide a very high power in infrared and visible range. We can reach about 20 watts, up to 20 watts in infrared and uh, up to 4 watts in visible band. A system is comprised of a Raman fiber amplifier, pump fiber laser, a weak power seat laser, and in case of VRFA models, a second harmonic generator converting a high power infrared light into a visible emission. Such amplifiers allow us to uh, produce extremely high spectral brightness at the output because we, take, we start with a very narrow seed wavelengths uh, with a line width of 10 kHz and even less we amplify them to very high powers and in case of VRFAs we frequency double them to convert these wavelengths to visible. We are in the fiber laser lab where today we set up a 1266 nanometers Raman fiber amplifier. You can see here the setup. Uh, we have a seat laser which emits a linearly polarized narrow line with light and uh, which is delivered by this polarization maintaining fiber to the input of Raman fiber amplifier. We have tapped off a small fraction of this light and send it to a scanning Fabry interf interferometer to see the emission spectrum. Here on the scope screen you can see the Fabry spiro spectrum of the seat laser. You can see it's quite uh, stable and uh, the spectrum analyzer cannot really resolve the line width of uh, the seat laser which is way more narrower but we did self-heterodyne experiments where we show that the emission line width is actually below 10 kilohertz. We can also scan or tune the frequency of the seat laser by applying a variable voltage to the seat piezo. Let me show you how to do that. Here we have an ethereum fiber laser which is used to pump Raman fiber amplifier and everything is controlled by a graphical user interface which basically communicates with a uh, fiber, with the fiber laser and uh, we can monitor all parameters such as seat input power, laser diode current, temperatures. The unit itself is air cooled and it provides a linearly polarized light which is delivered by this fiber cable to uh, a remotely placed Raman fiber amplifier. Now I'm about to turn it on so I put my protective goggles and I'm turning it on so you can see this emission warning light flashing meaning that in few seconds we have the pump light on and you can see uh, the uh, output power is increased to 8 watts so that's, this is the fiber output which goes to a power meter and uh, we have over 8 watts at 1266 single frequency light coming in this power meter now.
Not only we have a very high output power, but we also have a diffraction limited beam at the output of this fiber with a very narrow line width. That allows us to frequency double these uh, sources and uh, extend the operational uh, range to visible band. The amplifier itself preserves the spectral and polarization properties of the seed, adding very little phase and intensity noise. Our optical amplifiers are based on stimulated Raman scattering, which uh, give us a great deal of flexibility in selecting wavelengths where we want to amplify. For example, we can amplify at a very, very specific and unique wavelengths, which are not easily available by other means. Uh, if you want to address specific absorption lines of, for example, sodium atoms or lithium atoms or calcium atoms, we can uh, provide amplification at these wavelengths. Thanks very much for watching our short demo and I would like to invite you to take a look at our white paper where you can find more technical details about optical properties of our Raman fiber amplifiers. Thank you.